Hello people, glad to join you here with another unboxing video. Today I'm going to be unboxing Taito's Asuna figure from Sword Art Online. <laughs> and yes, I know, another Asuna figure, man. But don't worry guys, I still got plenty more where that came from. <laughs> I really do actually. Uh, in any case, uh, this figure is pretty old by now. Um, it was released back in 2013 and I bought it recently for about $32, uh, you know, with shipping included. Uh, uh, the figure comes packaged in a great looking box. Uh, you get pictures of the figure on the front and back of the box. And on the sides, you get some really cool artwork of Asuna. You know, overall, a nice looking box. Also, if you guys are interested in buying one, I'll make sure to provide some links down in the description for you to check out. Uh, with that said, enjoy the rest of the unboxing video. The box comes with the sword, the sheath, the base, and the figure itself. Uh, assembly is pretty straightforward. Simply insert the foot holes into the pegs of the base and simply insert the sword and sheath into her hands. Uh, I did struggle to insert her foot all the way into the base, uh, but once in, you get a very sturdy fit. I can actually tell it's going to be a struggle to detach them. You know, hopefully, it doesn't get damaged if I do try to detach it from the base. And also, you know, with the pose that this figure has, uh, potential leaning is always a possibility later down the line. But uh, I wouldn't worry too much since it's attached to the base firmly. Uh, but I guess only time will tell. Moving on, uh, she measures almost 7 inches tall from the bottom of the base to the top of the figure. It was actually a little bigger than I thought. Uh, I thought it was going to be closer to 6 inches. Uh, my preferred size is usually around 8.5 inches, but you know, 7 inches is okay. <laughs> the figure itself is pretty good for being a price figure. Uh, it's sculpted really well. Uh, the skin tone and hair color are spot on. Uh, the level of detail is quite impressive for being a price figure, uh, especially on the sword and sheath. Uh, her boots look really nice as well, um, her hair and dress have a natural flow that complements her pose really well. And speaking of the pose, uh, her pose is my favorite part, you know, very dynamic, it looks really cool. It's actually the main reason why I bought this figure. Uh, also her facial expression works really well and doesn't look awkward at all. Uh, most importantly, uh, the figure does look like Asuna. <laughs> you know, overall great design. There are a couple flaws worth mentioning, like the white on her outfit looks really faded. You know, it's not as bright as it should have been, or as white. And for whatever reason, there's like faded blue paint throughout her dress. Uh, you can really notice it in the interior. See all that blue? Yeah, it shouldn't be blue. <laughs> but it seems to be quite common with this figure for whatever reason. But you know, it's something worth mentioning for sure. And yeah, it's like some more faded blue on her stomach, but not as noticeable as it is in the inside. And yeah, it looks kind of sloppy right there, but you know, nothing serious. And also here, like some of the red, it's not as bright as some some of the other reds. Like here on the left side, uh, it looks brighter here on the right side. But I'm just nitpicking here, and you know, some areas here could have been a little more smoother, like around here. Yeah, but nothing too noticeable and you know a rough patch here yeah but just the you know the, the faded the faded blue is definitely something worth mentioning yeah they could have done a better job with some of the red lines but you know it's a price figure yeah you can never expect perfection with these things <laughs> Anywho, uh, aside from those flaws, uh, this figure is awesome, especially that pose. I would have been extremely disappointed if this was a scale figure and if I would have paid much more. You know, don't get me wrong, the faded blue paint is still disappointing and unforgivable, but at least it has more positives than negatives. 
Overall, I would recommend a purchase. Yeah, I think I really would. Um, you know, it, it was affordable at the price I paid. Uh, anything more than forty dollars or anything more than forty-five, actually, uh, I probably would have reconsidered. <laughs> but I guess it truly depends on how much money you're willing to pay. Uh, but yeah, it's a great figure for any Asuna and Sao fan. Uh, well, anyways, uh, that's it for this unboxing video. As usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. It really does mean a lot. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications for this channel by hitting that notification bell. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll catch you next time.